Hey all, in this video, we will see how you can deploy production ready instance of authorizer on railway.app. Railway.app takes away the deployment complexities and comes with generous pricing for cloud infrastructure. Let's get started here. I have created a one click deployment option for authorizer on railway.app. So you can click on this button. I have already authorized a uh, railway.app to access my github account but in case if you haven't it may ask you to authorize and now I can create a instance of authorizer on railway.app so basically it will create this repository in my github and it will install authorizer with postgres and redis here we may have to configure few required environment variables like admin secret so for now let's keep it admin and then there is a jwt secret which will be used to encrypt the jwt token you can also configure facebook google github uh, logins if you have those secrets and client ids rest i will keep it as it is and let's deploy this In case you don't want to install Postgres and you already have one instance, uh, you can remove that deployment later on or during the installation and configure that environment variable uh, from the dashboard itself. So you get this uh, dashboard where you can configure other environment variables as well. Uh, you can get the list of environment variables on docs.authorizer.dev. Here there is a full documentation on all the environment variables. Uh, so seems like our application is up and running. We can quickly check this deployment. So this becomes the domain of our application. You can also add a custom domain over here. Now if I open this domain, uh, you will see that I have a GraphQL playground up and running. Also I have this app URL which will have login and sign up options. So that's how you can get started with authorizer on railway.app. Once your instance is up and running, you can follow the authorizer JS or authorizer react on how you can integrate uh, this particular instance with your application. I hope this helps in getting started with authorizer. In case if you have any doubts or issues, you can put it on the GitHub or our discord channel. Thank you.